Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss worksheet one. In worksheet one, question number one is, what is absolute value of minus two? So, what is absolute value? Absolute value of any number is just the number itself in positive way. So, if you if I ask absolute value of five. It is five only. If I ask of minus five, it is five only. So absolute value is the number only. It is not having these negative signs. Okay. If you understand the actual meaning, it is distance of a point from origin. So if I say minus five, although it is towards the left. Suppose although it is towards the left, but the distance is only five. so that is why we take only the positive values because distance is always positive hence in this case answer of absolute value of minus 2 is plus 2 that is option number d similarly question number 2 is what is absolute value of mod 8 it is 8 only okay then we have question number 3 minus 5 into bracket minus 6 as per board mass we know We have to first open the brackets. So minus five into minus six will come out. Now we know when we have even number of negatives getting multiplied, they become positive. So in this case, we have two negatives getting multiplied. So two negatives is even. So we will make it positive, and five six are thirty is the answer. So plus thirty is the answer. Similarly, second we have minus five into six. In this case also we have to multiply five and six. But if you observe, this six is positive, this five is negative. So we have only one negative getting multiplied. So negative will remain, and answer will become minus thirty. That is option number D only. Then question number five minus four into minus seven. Again open the bracket, it becomes minus four into minus seven. Again there are two negative signs, they become positive, and four seven is a twenty eight. So plus twenty eight is the answer. Similarly, four seven to twenty eight, one negative sign is there. It becomes minus twenty eight. Then we have minus forty five divided by nine. So if you observe, is there any common factor which can divide both of them? Yes, we can divide both of them by three. So you can take three like this. Three three is a nine. Three one is a three. One came down and then fifteen. Three five is a fifteen. Then three one is a And three fives are so answer is minus five because this minus is left over here only one minus is there so it will remain answer is minus five if you want you can cut directly also with nine nine ones are nine fives are no issue both are same question number eight absolute value of minus two three nine as I've said absolute value means distance of a point from origin and distance can never be negative so answer is plus two three nine that is option number one. Question number nine. What is absolute value of minus two six seven seven? Again, this is the answer. What is absolute value of minus eighty nine? It is this. Then question is when which of the following statement is wrong? We have to find the wrong statement. So when a positive integer and a negative integer are added, we always get a negative integer. What do you say? It is correct or not? Let's see. so they are saying whenever you add a positive integer and a negative integer you always get a negative integer is it correct i don't think so it depends on the value of numbers i have told you if positive number is larger answer will be positive if negative number is larger answer will be negative for example we can take If I have thirty plus minus five, in this case, answer becomes twenty-five. But if I take the same numbers and reverse the sign, minus thirty and plus five, in this case, what will happen? Again, difference will be there. That is twenty-five. But this time, we have to see the larger number. Sign of larger number is minus, so answer will be in minus. In this case, sign of larger number was plus, so answer is in plus. 
so we can never say that always it will be negative it can be positive or negative both depending on the larger number if larger number is positive answer is positive okay now second it is saying additive inverse of 8 is minus 8 we all know additive inverse of a number is that number which if you add you will get answer as 0 so additive inverse of any number is just negative of it so for a additive inverse is minus a for minus a additive inverse is plus a in our question it is saying additive inverse of 8 is minus 8 yes it is correct obviously it will give you 0 so this this one is correct this one is wrong we have got additive inverse of minus 8 is 8 again correct for subtraction we add additive inverse of integer that is being subtracted to other integer so if you are having this suppose subtract subtract 2 from 3 if this is the question but we do actually we write 3 first and we take additive inverse of 2 that is minus 2 so it is correct also answer is 1 only so statement number d is also correct we have to find which of the following is wrong so option number a is wrong the product of two negative integer is again you have to understand what they are asking one second let me rub this Okay. Now, so this time they are saying if you multiply two negative integers, so first they are saying answer will be a positive integer. So I think it is correct because we have learned this thing whenever even number of negative signs multiply answer is positive so i think option number a is correct let's see other option also it is saying negative integer wrong either positive or negative wrong because it is always positive when you multiply two negative integers so answer a is correct now question number 13 minus 1 into minus 1 five times so just write it like this I have told you, you have to count the number of negatives getting multiplied. In this case, we have 5 negatives getting multiplied. So, that is an odd number. So, whenever there is odd numbers of multiplication of negative sign, it will remain in the answer. So, answer will be minus 1 only. So, in this case, answer is minus 1 for sure. Okay. In this one, you have minus 50 divided by x is equal to 1 so we have discussed this in chapter number 2 also let's do it by that way there are two methods to solve the question first is I can take it as minus 50 upon 1 divided by x upon 1 is equal to 1 so what will happen we know what we do we take the first fraction as it is we make this division multiplication and we write 1 upon x reciprocal of second term equal to 1 now this x we want the value of x so let's take this x to this side if you observe here it is in division so when it changes the side from left side it goes to right side it will go in mul multiplication here it is in division so answer will be minus 50 is equal to x answer is minus 50 only okay or one more way is there to solve you can just write in fraction like this minus 50 upon x is equal to 1 so to find this value of variable we have to take it to the right side you have to see it is getting divided on this side so it becomes minus 50 is equal to 1 into x so 1 into x is x only answer is minus 50 if you want to verify you can verify also minus 50 upon minus 50 is ob obviously negative negative cancel 51 the 50 51 the 50 answer is 1 only so minus 50 is the correct answer similarly question 15 is Manish deposits rupees 2000 in his bank account and withdraws 
thousand from it. So whenever we deposit something in our account, it comes as positive. You must be checking the passbook of your father's or mother's bank account. You can see over there. Whatever you deposit, it is credit, and whatever you take out is the debit. So that is why we have debit card or ATM cards to take out the money. So this person Manish has deposited this much money and withdraws rupees thousand from it. So thousand is withdrawn. So it will be a negative sign like this. Find the balance in Manisha's sorry Manish's account. Okay. So it will be solving this thing. I have told you when one is in positive, other is in negative. We have to subtract and. sign of answer will be decided by the larger number if you see the larger number is positive so answer will be in positive second thing 2000 minus 1000 is simple 1000 so answer is rupees 1000 is the balance i hope you got this thank you